Hey everybody, it's Travis from RossandMarketing.com. Today I'm going to share with you three steps to make your own YouTube videos. Stick around to the end and I'll share with you a bonus tip that'll help you get more views. Okay, let's jump right in. The first step is how to actually record the video in the first place. There's really two main ways. The first way is of course with a video camera, like a talking head video, much like what you're seeing right now. Now you don't have to have an expensive camera to do this. You can use a point and shoot just with a video mode. You can even use your mobile phone. And of course a handheld video camera works just as good. The second way that people record videos for YouTube is to use a screencast software and just use PowerPoint or Keynote. I've got several of those in my channel as well. You'd use a screencasting software like Camtasia for Windows or uh, ScreenFlow for Mac, which is what I use. Step two is actually editing your YouTube video. Now, of course, you can use a screen capture software like I was speaking about in point one. I use ScreenFlow, but if you don't have a screencast software, that's okay. If you're on a Windows machine, you can use Windows Movie Maker or even Sony Vegas. I've heard that's a good program. Of course, I'm on a Mac, but I have iMovie that comes with the OS, and then you could always upgrade if you needed the features of Final Cut or something like that. Step three is actually uploading the video to YouTube. Now, some programs have an auto upload feature, like uh, ScreenFlow has an auto upload to YouTube feature, but make sure you output the final uh, project in the same resolution that you recorded. So if you recorded your screen or you recorded your video in 720p, you wanna make sure that your final output of your, of your project is in 720p. Now, once you've created your YouTube account, which just ties to a Gmail account, it's really simple because you just drag and drop the video from your desktop and it populates right there. And then all you got to do is fill out some basic information about your video, like the name and the description and the keywords, and then maybe a link back to your site and poof, you're done. It's on YouTube. And finally, a bonus tip. Did you know you can have as many links as you want in your description below your video? They just need to start with HTTP colon slash slash to be clickable. So in that description, you could have a connect section that has links to your Twitter and your Facebook and your website and, and your profiles on other social networks. It just creates more ways for your users to connect and then for you to get more video views. All right, well, if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Of course, you can tweet or share this video using the share icons and click the link below to sign up to my newsletter and I'll send you my YouTube starter pack videos. And as always, thanks for watching.